Orange County Registered Digital. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to OCVarsity.com for our OC Varsity Great Iron Show. I'm Steve Fryer here with Dan Albano and Carlos Harris. We're here at Tesoro High School where the Titans are getting ready to play Mission Viejo. Huge South Coast League game. We'll have a big segment on that in our OC Varsity Great Iron Extra program. Guys, it's week eight, week nine, week seven. I don't know what that week zero week I can ever keep. Week eight. Okay, week eight. I can with that week zero. Why don't they just call week zero week one? <laughs> since everybody plays and call week 10, week 11, because it is the 11th week of the season. And, and it just stopped to confuse it to help me out a little These bit. These teams are only going to be 10-0. Uh, the best you can be, 10-0, and 0, going into the playoffs. Okay. Easy. You're 10-0 and over an 11-week season? <laughs> There's a bye. Okay. How, how many weeks to play in the NFL? Was it 16 weeks in the NFL, I believe? No, it's 17. They have a bye week. Bye week, okay. See, that's where I'm going. Okay, let's get back to work here, guys. Los Alamitos versus Edison. That's a Sunset League game. Uh, that game's at Huntington Beach High on Thursday. Uh, Los Al picked up uh, a running back that kind of helped them last week against Marina. Am I correct, Mr. Albano? That's right. Um, they picked him up from the lower levels. Uh, his name is Skyler Whitehead. He's a sophomore, six foot, 175. And he looked real impressive uh, running the ball uh, last week again in a big victory against Marina. And I think he gives an added dimension for Los Al in this big uh, Sunset League showdown with the defending champion, the uh, Chargers. Okay, so you've got Edison winning that Edison. game, as do I. And Carlos Arias, agree or disagree? Yeah, I agree. Edison is, uh, you know, they're battle-tested. They had those only tr two losses were to the Trinity League teams. Yeah. Um, you know, their defense is what really impressed me when I saw them against Servite. You know, the, the numbers didn't look that great, but they really held held Servite in check pretty much in that game, uh, except for a few big plays by Travis Waller. <laughs> yeah. But um, but still, Edison's D, I think, is the difference in this. Orange Lutheran and Servite this week. Uh, that game's at Orange Coast College, if my memory is Cerritos College. College. It's one of the JC's places. So Cerritos College, Servite looked really good last week, a 30-14 to 14 winners against Santa Margarita. Uh, Dan, uh, you and I were at that game. Uh, watching the the level of play that Travis Waller went, the quarterback for Servite from the Daily Style game to modern day that game, he was great. He's a handful that Orange Luton's got to get, got to got to take take care of because he's he's awful tough. What do you think of this game, Orange Luton Servite? Who takes this one? This is a great game. Yeah. Travis Waller looked special last week yeah, against Santa Margarita. You know, throwing the ball in the first half, you were you were saying that's the best you've seen Waller throw the ball. I think you're right on. And he ran the ball so well when they needed to milk the clock. You know, and then, you know, Orange Lutheran, you know, I think they're they kind of, this matchup's pretty good for Orange Lutheran because they run the triple option. Mm -hmm. So they practice a lot against the option, and that's what Waller burned a lot of people on, is running that option. Yeah. So I think that's going to kind of uh, – bring this game a little bit closer. So this is a tough game, but I, I, I'm going to uh, pick Servite in a close one. Yeah, I think so too. I think they've got they've got a little bit more oomph on the interior lines like you're alluding to there, Dan. But if Orange Lutheran wins this game, I ain't going to be surprised because no. you know Luke Langdon and company do really run that option thing good. What do you think, Orange Lutheran, Servite, Servite, uh, or Orange Lutheran? What do you got? You know what, I'm going with Orange Lutheran. Right, uh, right. That, that triple option gave uh, St. John Bosco all kinds of problems. Only problem is Bosco has so many skill position players that you can't stop them all game long, so that's the only reason why they lost to Bosco. I'm taking Orange Lutheran. You know, Carlos, you and I are going to be at kind of a fun game Thursday. We try and move it around and see a lot of different teams play. Calvary Chapel and Laguna Beach. You know, Drake Martinez graduated from Laguna Beach. Everybody thought, you know, maybe Laguna Beach got to fall off the face here. It did not happen. Yeah. They got another good line, a good running back over there. Yeah, Nate Lancaster is awesome. I, mean, I think he went for 300 yards yeah. last week. Um, he's blowing up. And then on, at Calvary Chapel, they were picked to finish dead last in the Orange Coast League. No way with first-year coach Chris Cox and Danny Matero. The, the quarterback is blowing up. I think he has accounted for like 15 touchdowns in the last three weeks. He's been a Thursday Night Football Madness MVP every, all year long. Boom, he's, it's Calvary Chapel. So that's what's going on. Big week of football here. We just took a look at three games. There's going to be so much more going on. Thank you to our expert producer and director behind the camera, Jonathan Camus. And thank you for visiting us here at OCVarsity.com, where we got you covered. Thank you. Orange County Register. We are here in the service of Orange County.